welcome back to the channel it's your girl kayla here and i am so excited to begin working on that sunroom makeover it's gonna be so cute but before we get started i do want to give a shout out to today's sponsor ritual if you haven't heard of ritual they are an amazing company that specializes in creating multivitamins without any of the shady additives and they have something for everybody women men prenatal postnatal teens kids they literally have it all. And as you guys can see right here, I am currently taking the Essential Multivitamin for Women 18 and Up. I've been taking this for a little while now and I absolutely love it. It contains nine high quality ingredients like iron, B12, and omega-3. And I absolutely love how it fills in those nutrient gaps within my diet. One of my big goals for the rest of 2021 is just to take care of my body. I feel like for those first six months, y'all, with the kitchen reno going on, me traveling, I was eating whatever, whenever, and now I'm just trying to be really intentional about the ingredients that I'm intaking within my body. I only want the best, and Ritual is definitely helping me out with that. The vitamins are gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, and non-GMO. Another really cool thing about Ritual is that their vitamins like these bottles that they're made out of are 100% recycled materials and they're shipped straight to your doorstep. So they're trying to become a more sustainable brand. So guys, if you want 10% off your first three months of Ritual, you can use my code YLV at checkout. And also I want you guys to click on that link down in the description box and just check it out for yourselves. I mean, there's so many benefits to taking vitamins and I think you guys will absolutely love it just like I do. All right guys, so now let's go ahead and get into this sunroom makeover. I know y'all are super excited and I am too. But whew, there's a lot for us to get done. So let me show y'all what I'm working with. Okay, y'all, so I'm currently in my sunroom. Ooh, it is hot out here, honey. And I wanna show y'all what it's looking like. It's a complete disaster right now, just being 1000% honest, transparent. But that's the beauty of a makeover. When something looks this bad, and then you're able to change it up real quick, or not real quick, this is gonna take me a while to do, but you're able to change it and make it beautiful. It's just, it just makes the transformation even better. So let me show y'all what we're working with. Okay guys, so over here on this side, we have like the door, and then we have some more bricks and things over here. Woo! <laughs> and everything. These are like the main doors getting back inside of the house, and then this is what the flooring looks like all throughout here. Okay, this is where we do a lot of our projects at. So that's what this whole area over here looks like. And then coming along this way, we just get into a lot of the mess. That is the sunroom. So this is the side of the sunroom. And then of course, those are the windows looking into the living room. Okay guys, so now for the plan. So. Over here, there will be like a ceiling fan, and then right underneath, I want a really long eight feet, not eight feet, but a, a table big enough to fit eight people. I want that to go there with chairs. So this will be like a secondary dining area. And then as we move over here, like this way, right in front of these windows, I'm gonna attach my projector, my projector screen. It's gonna let down right here. And then we will have probably like a couch right here, you know, a table. And then those little hanging chairs I got will be like right here and right there. And then a nice rug underfoot. So this area will be like really cozy and cute. I also think I wanna put some curtains here along this side, um, even maybe on the side behind me. That way I don't see the neighbor's house and their red aesthetic peeking into my area, so I might put curtains there. And also just for privacy as well, but then like back here, I will leave this open. Okay, you know. so let's talk about the goals for this video. In this video, I want us, because this is going to be part one, I want us to get the walls and everything painted. 
I want us to paint the floors. Yes, I did say paint the floors. These, I can't with the color. I have to paint them. It's gonna be so cute though. I'll show you guys in a second the colors that I'm choosing between for the flooring. We're also gonna do, hopefully if we can get to it, a stencil tile on the floor as well. I'll show y'all that too. And I wanna get the new light fixtures up, some ceiling fans because honey, it is hot out here. And I think that's just about everything that I really want us to tackle within this video. And then the next video, once the base is all done, we can just like begin decorating and making it feel like really cozy. Hey okay, guys, so let's talk about flooring colors and like the whole color palette in general. So these are the two colors that I am choosing between for the flooring. So you already know the flooring here is like that really red, dark burgundy, mosaic tile. So I want to go with one of these colors for the flooring. This one is called Moroccan Sky and then this one is Terracotta Clay. I think both of these colors are beautiful and I don't mind the floors being like warm. Originally I was going to go with gray, but gray flooring. I was like, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do something fun on the floor. Like I think it's going to be so cute. So you guys let me know which one you like better, Moroccan Sky or Terracotta Clay. So cute. One of these will be the base color for the flooring. And then on top of that, you know me, I can't just leave it like that. I wanna try my hand at stenciling. So I bought a stencil and I am going to do the inside of the stencil. It's gonna be in a color called weathered white. So I think it's gonna give it like a really cool antique finish, but this is what the stencil looks like. Do you guys like that? Are y'all feeling that stencil? I think it's really, really cutesy. I mean, there's so many stencil options online, y'all. I was like, should I pick this? Should I pick that? I had four different things that I was choosing in between, but I ended up going with this one because it looked really unique to me and I just like the shape that's going on in there. I feel like it's going to fit perfectly in here. I can miss your mind, but I want it. Okay guys, so this is the fan that I'm going to get. That's the one that they didn't have at the store yesterday. It's $49, so I'm gonna get two of these babies. Alrighty friends, so at this point I made it home from the store and now it was time to begin cleaning the sunroom. When I tell y'all there was so much sawdust, cobwebs, just everything y'all out here in the sunroom. It was so dusty and so I was really excited and this also was super satisfying to like sweep all of this stuff away. You got me
Okay guys, so good news. We got a fancy air sprayer, you know, the real professional one. So Marcus and I right now, we are gonna go over the instructions and hopefully we can set this thing up. If you have one, well hopefully by the time you see this, we will have gotten the hang of it and this whole, you know, the ceilings and everything will be painted. But it's so many steps, a little overwhelming, but most of this is in a different language. So we're gonna try our hand and see if we can get this together. I'm still working, I'm still So I got Marcus and I some little outfits because if you watch my kitchen reno series, then you know I always get paint in my hair. I think there might even be a paint in there. Now, whenever you watch the bathroom video, I have paint in my hair. It's whatever. So let's go ahead and change. Okay, you guys, so we are officially about to get started. We have our little marshmallow seeds. And uh, we took the thumbnail real quick. So now it's actually time to get to work. I'm super excited, so let's see how it goes. Okay guys, so it's doing an amazing job, but Marcus and I have been taking turns a little bit with that small little area that we've done, but our eyeballs are burning. I don't know if you can see that because like the spray is just like, it has a lot of cake back, you guys, honestly. I don't know if that's like a normal thing or I don't know, but so a lot of it is like falling off the ceilings. Of course we are doing a ceiling, so that's also probably why. But anyway, so we're gonna go now and buy some goggles because we don't wanna put ourselves through the stressors anymore. But you guys, look at Babe. Babe, come here. Oh, wow. I'm gonna get him a paper towel. So we just got back from the store and now we are going to finish Painting has gotten really dark outside though. So we've busted out the ring light and everything. So hopefully the lighting will be really good for you guys. But um, we ended up getting face masks and we got some more paint just in case we run out. And I think that's just about. So anyways, Marcus is gonna finish spraying. And I'm gonna be like taping off the windows and stuff. So that way we can just work a lot faster. So that's the plan. Good morning, everybody. So, of course, it is the next day, and this is just about as much as we were able to get done yesterday. So we still have like the whole other side to finish. So the goal is like right now to go ahead and like tape off the windows. We're kind of working backwards, but it's okay. Tape those off, um, and we bought some plastic sheets to kind of like go over them, so we can take the air sprayer and just like zoosh, just knock it all out because I was thinking later on I would go back and like do all that, but now we're just gonna do it all together and then yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like.
All right, guys, that took way longer than we would like to even admit, but we have the majority of the windows covered up and now we are going to finish spraying. This paint sprayer is literally the best investment that I could have ever made. It's going to save me so much time in the future and it's super easy, like very user friendly. I definitely would recommend this to you guys. So the link will be down in the description box. But this also was so much fun to do. I had a blast. The only complaint would be like wearing these suits and being out there in the sunroom, y'all. It was just so, so hot. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this part. It's really satisfying. Guys, whenever we like are too close because you know we're still learning um and it like puddles a little bit if you guys can see that we go over it with a roller just to smooth everything out um we actually did this last night and then whatever's left over on the roller as you can see it's a lot on the roll it even dripped down that's how much extra paint um was just like sitting there so yeah and this is what the room looks like right now <laughs> I can't get over how crazy I look. OMG. Wow. Oh, you got it on your lip. Mm -hmm. Oh, my, my, my. See my nose? That's not. That's it's much. everywhere. Y'all, this stuff ain't no joke, okay? Yeah, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could have done more than I did now. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People fill you with doubt, you start thinking about what you're gonna do now. But we only go one chance and go one life to live. And it's do or die, gotta make it count, so lose your way. Alrighty friends, so we are almost to the end of today's video and I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in for the first episode within the Sunroom Makeover series. <laughs> 
Just looking at the walls out there being painted white, it looks so clean, fresh, and crisp. So I just cannot wait to get these floors painted. You guys be sure to let me know down in the comments which color you like the best, either terracotta clay or Moroccan sky. And um, yeah, I'm just obsessed with the results. So this is where we are leaving off for this episode. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week on Sunday for a brand new episode. Bye guys. Slow down